have my beautiful wings so quick apology I literally have just washed my hair um, which is why that looks like that and why part of my makeup's rubbed off because I didn't think about the fact that I needed to keep it in for a video until halfway through washing my hair I was like oh my god I haven't recorded this month's random rave and then when I started thinking about it I actually kept getting shit everywhere but um, I think it stayed quite intact and also yes I am wearing a Jigglypuff onesie. Don't judge, looks cool, and it is so comfortable. Anyway, but, so I'm so I apologise, I'm literally recording this on the 31st because I've had a lot going on this month, and when I can tell you, I will. Um, but obviously, so if this comes out a little bit late, I apologise. Um, but, right, anyway. Rant to the rave. Go from the rave into the rant because of the fact that I want to. Ah! So, my rave is about change. Change can be a really good thing. It can be scary. But most of the time, change is what helps us grow and what helps us develop as a person. And it gives us so many opportunities to do things that are like probably wouldn't be able to do in the first place if we didn't have change so I think that people don't really give into it enough like I think they get scared and then don't do anything with it because of the fact that they're scared but the thing is change is healthy it's good and it can help us a lot and I don't think people are willing to take their risk enough I feel like people need to try more to just you know what things are going to change but in the long run it's probably for the best it may hurt at first it may be hard at first sometimes bad things can come of it yes but in the majority of the time something good will come out of it in the end and i think that's good <laughs> my rant because this is really quick for some reason but <laughs> unresolved feelings i feel like a lot of the time people bottle up feelings and things don't get resolved and you just stuck with that like anger love anything like that if you're angry at someone tell them why you're angry because they can't guess they won't know the best thing for you to do to then resolve that and either move on from being angry and just not talk to them anymore or to resolve things like as in to actually fix things with them and become better friends is to talk to them about it tell them this is what you did they're wrong this is what I don't like if they don't understand then clearly they weren't worthy of it as being a friend if they're not going to try to understand where you're coming from whatever whatever if you love someone and you're like oh I don't really want to tell them I think the best thing you can do is tell them because at the end of the day as most people say they could have feelings for you and you won't know until you tell them and because they're just as scared yes it may be a case of them not liking you in the same way but that will help you move on and help you realise, you know what? It's someone else. I can get someone else. It's fine. I'm. You are worthy of being loved. It's not that. That won't be the case. It's not that you're not worthy of being loved. It's just because that's not the right person. And you fell in love, yeah, but it's just not the right person or it's not the right time. And that's okay too. I know it hurts and it's scary, but... Unfortunately, it's just how things work. <laughs> and I just think, like, I just feel people don't express themselves enough and I'm guilty of that myself I know I am and I'm trying to get better at it but I feel like if there's something going on in your head you need to tell people because the best way to get it resolved <laughs> or to move on from it is to tell someone speak to someone about it even if it's just getting someone else's view on it because then it helps you because then you get other people's understanding of it and then you're like okay yeah I think about that in a different way now okay it's just, I just think that people just don't do it enough. I really do. I don't know, I just, I know this video is gonna end up being really short and I feel bad because of the fact that obviously I'm like really rushing it, but there's just so much going on and I wish I could tell everybody, but well, I wish I could tell you because then maybe people could relate and it might help you guys understand why things are a little bit right now. I won't tell people to make people aware, but I'm just, I'm stuck right now I'm not I can't tell you um, I hope the first month of this year has gone really well for you guys I hope that things continue to improve I hope this is not another 2016 because no one wants that um, and I just want you guys to know that I really appreciate every single one of you 
and I'm really happy of how far this channel's come. I know that I haven't really increased in subscribers much. I've only got the 70 of you. But you know what? I love every single one of you and I appreciate you and I'm glad. I don't care. I'd rather have as many subscribers as I have and know that you guys actually watch my stuff and care than to have millions and not actually get people to communicate with me and to who actually care and understand you know I want people to relate I want that people that this may help in some way I just want to make people happy I'd rather know that I'm making a small collection of people happy than not really affecting anyone I don't know if any of that made sense. Okay, um, alright, so I will see you guys soon. Oh, I'll do a rant and a rave in February, and I'll open my loot crate again if you guys want that. I would have done this one, but I'm an idiot. And I, I got too excited. <laughs> and I was too busy to make the video. But I also would like to quickly give a shout out to my friend's art thing. I'll put her link in her link to her Facebook page down below. Because she made this really cool watercolour fox thing. And I love it. I love foxes, obviously. She does loads of other different things, like watercolour and things like that. But I just wanted to give this one a shout out because it's so pretty. And obviously you can check out her work on her Facebook. So, yeah. <laughs> Hello, my beautiful wings. I, um, this is February's Rant and Rave. Uh, January is, is going to be out at the same time as this one because a lot of the shit's been happening, um, which I'm going to display in two separate videos because I feel like they're not exactly, the stories aren't exactly very upbeat, so I don't particularly want to talk about it on this one. I know obviously I have my rant, but I'd rather talk about them separately in case there are people going through similar things because obviously it's more of a, I had an experience, I'd like to share it with you guys for warning or for relatability, if that makes any sense. I need to take this off, sorry. So I don't know how long this one's gonna be, and to be perfectly honest with you, I don't exactly have a, um, I don't have a set, oh God, I haven't let my hair down for the rest of the thing. Um, I don't have a set rant. I'm kind of just gonna go off about everything because I feel like it. I had a set rave but I've also just thought of another one that I kind of want to just mention as any small thing um, which some of you may have noticed. Uh, right so I'm gonna start with the rave today actually rather than the rant because of the fact that I'm probably just gonna go on and on and on and on and Frankie can edit all of it out. Um, probably easier to do if it's on later anyway so um, my rave is about second chances because I feel like second chances are deserved in a lot of cases and everyone wants a second chance with certain things, right? I mean, they can really help. They can make people feel better and sometimes the second time around things can be a hell of a lot better. Um, there are certain cases where I don't think second chances should be made available to people like if someone cheats on you or abuses you mentally or physically they shouldn't have a second chance end of no done with it goodbye that's my opinion i know some people go back to the people heck i did and it's not necessarily unfortunately sometimes it's a thing you have to learn for yourself that second chances aren't deserved in those kinds of situations I just realised how shiny my face looks. It's because I've got like a uh, light on here because I didn't want to put this light on because it makes me look orange and all yellow. I just wanted to see how this looked, but obviously because I haven't got any makeup on, I look really, really shiny. Um, but maybe if I, I could probably maybe maybe do a makeup tutorial. No God! With this lighting, might work. I don't know. Or you could see all my spots. Who knows? Um, anyway. Second chances. I recently got a second chance at, with something, someone, um, kind of thing, not thing, um, and I'm really grateful for it. And it feels so much more right this time around, so much more. And I just, yeah, I think they're great. <laughs> okay, so my second little rave thing 
if you haven't noticed, I have got my first tattoo. I got a matching tattoo with my auntie. I've got some more planned already, but I'm not going to tell you about those. Um, but yes, I have a little watercolour. Oh god, I know the lighting's dodgy there. But I have a little watercolour rose thing on my arm. It's um, blue rose, pink rose, and then a purple like splat, like water colour, boom. Um, I'm really happy with it. It's still healing at the moment, obviously, because I got it done last Wednesday, and which is exactly a week ago. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with it, and I got matching with my army because I love my army, and yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so I just wanted to mention that because I'm really happy with it. Okay, anyway. Onto my rants. I'm just gonna talk a lot of shit because I want to. Because I'm in one of those moods. I've been in a bit of a crap mood today and I'm not really sure why. Like, I started off okay and then it just went downhill from there. Why don't we come in to work? And yesterday I sent out this email. Well, this email got sent out basically, okay? Saying, some people are doing this. We want them to do this. But if you don't have access to a certain thing, then you need to also do this. But if you do have access to it and you're already using it, then just say like that. And some people just don't, I don't even know if that made sense. But in the email, it made sense. I can't tell you the exact example because, you know, some of the people that we were like, don't worry, it's not going to affect you. We're just sending out the email to everybody so everybody knows. And because you're one of the people that uses the application, we just wanted you to be kept in the loop. But obviously, if you already do what we want you to, then you don't need to change anything. So, of course, they get at least two emails of someone like, it's not working anymore. I don't know what's going on. I, I followed the instructions. You didn't need to follow the instructions, you were doing it perfectly fine the first time we said that. Why? Listen. Listen. And then there's this guy that I'm doing some work with, and basically, I started off raising all these tickets to get certain things done. And because I started doing it, everyone obviously like kind of made them all go through me, but we started doing it so they all do their own ones now, please because I don't want to have to do all of them. So someone else, one of my colleagues, raised the ticket, sent it to this guy to do it, and when things were ready for testing, he sent it to me. It's not my application. It's not my ticket. I didn't raise the ticket. It's got that person's name on it for a reason. Send it back to them. So I just passed it straight to that person. And then, even worse, is one that they've actually raised it, so the person's raised it, sent it to him. He's spoken to said person who raised it. Once they've sorted out their problem, he's assigned it to me again. Why me? Why not assign it to the person you've been talking to about it? I don't understand. I don't, I don't, where, where is, where's, wh where are you getting this logic from? I don't get it. <laughs> Sign it to the person you were talking or some I've raised, yeah, okay, I've raised some that have been for other people and I've specified if you need any help, talk to this person. What does he do? Messages me. So uh, my response is, so and so would know. Can you ask them please? You ask them, why do I, I don't want to be in the middle? I'm not a middle person. I'm not, I don't want to be the ham in your sandwich. I don't. No! Sort yourself out! <laughs> uh, oh my god. Um, I don't know why I'm in such a shitty mood. Oh. I'll tell you what else bugs me, right? If I'm stood with my headphones in, fuck off. Don't come and talk to me. I put my headphones in for a reason. Because I don't want to talk to people. Why are you coming up and talking to me? You saw me put in my headphones. You waited till I put them in and then come over to me and talk to me. Why? 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 <laughs> if I wanted to talk to you, believe it or not, I'd probably talk to you. Maybe not. At least I would just not have my headphones in. I saw you. I didn't want to talk to you, so I put my headphones in and you come over and talk to me. Why? <sighs> in a bad mood if you can't tell <laughs> oh my god I don't know why I'm in such a bad mood and I'm probably making no sense I need a nap 
I need 10 na- I need like 10 years of sleep. I need chocolate, I need comfort food. Speaking of which, another thing that annoyed me, I'm gonna- this is gonna be the last thing. I ordered pizza, right, Domino's, yes. I got stuffed crust because, of course, who doesn't get stuffed crust, you crazy animals. But I got stuffed crust. I put some in the fridge to eat later on. I was going to warm it up, you know. I went to get the pizza. It was gone. So obviously, I was pissed. Who took my pizza? Who's eating my pizza? What the fuck? Can I not have anything in this house? I found out my dad ate it. You know what? Thanks. Fucking lot, dad. Really? And then, he told me that he threw the stuffed crust in the bin. Excuse me? I was moaning, I was like, that's my pizza and I just wanted some of the stuffed crust. Oh my god, that's all I wanted. You wanted the stuffed crust? Oh no, I threw that in the bin. What? What? I don't... Why? Why? I was fuming. It went from like... Ugh. It went from ready to hit you over the head with a baseball bat to ready to literally run you over with a car, come back, then hit you with a baseball bat, then pee on you, and then probably rip off your head and shit down your neck. Why would you waste the stuff to cross? I don't understand. Who does that? Why? That cost me three extra pounds, you know. Why would you wait? That's the best bit. Why would you waste? I don't... At least come and give it to me. Why throw it in the bin? Someone else might want to eat it. I wanted to eat it. Hello? I need to stop. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'll make... Um, I'm not sure when. <laughs> but I'm going to make some separate videos explaining some of the things that have happened. Um, just, yeah, um, again, I apologise for the fact that these are not exactly on time, um, I know I always say I'll try and get better, and I do, but I can't help but things get in the way, I'm afraid, um, yeah, so I don't know if you guys even enjoy these videos anymore, I hope you do, I hope it's, I don't know, <laughs> um, yeah, so, I hope you guys have had a lovely February, and, have a lovely March. Bye guys.